I'm Tim Pennycook from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Some call it the Atomic City. And last year I moved to Antwerpen. I did my bachelor's degree at Reed College in Portland, Oregon before moving to Vanderbilt University and Oak Ridge National Lab for my PhD. I then did postdocs with Oxford University, Vienna University, and then the Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research in Stuttgart. So I live here in Antwerp with my wife, who's Chinese, and also a microscopist here at EMET. We've actually already found Chinese restaurants here that we enjoy and Chinese markets so that we can cook our own Chinese food at home. Experiencing different types of cuisine around the world and traveling is things that we enjoy. And I, I speak a little Chinese, uh, as well as starting to learn Dutch. I can't go terribly much further than thank you well, uh, but uh, it's slowly improving, I'd say. I'm an electron microscopist. I use electrons to look at materials at a very high resolutions, so resolving their structure at spatial resolutions that are up to the atomic scale. And what I'm doing is really trying to advance our ability to resolve these more clearly because these high-speed electrons can often damage materials. And so we're trying to get better and better insights from using more advanced techniques with the electron microscope. The usual thing with uh, scanning transmission electron microscopy, STEM as we usually call it in our field, um, is uh, the using this scattering out to high angles to determine where atoms are and how heavy they are. And this is very nice because it allows you to see, for instance, that these atoms are strontium, these atomic columns are titanium, but this is strontium titanate. And so there's oxygen in there, and uh, in this ADF image, and in a dark field image, otherwise known as Z contrast imaging, because it's Z being the atomic number, but we can't see in this image where the oxygen atoms are. So if we bring in a new technique, and in the bright field, ABF, as you see here, uh, you start to see a little smudge where the oxygen atoms are. Um, and now if you look at the technique that I've been working on, electron tychography, now you can see really very clearly where those oxygen atoms are, where their positions are. But because you're able to do both of them at the same time, you can use these different modalities of imaging uh, together to create a, create a greater knowledge of what's going on in this sample. So in the future, I hope these advances in electron microscopy techniques will enable us to see materials more clearly than ever before. And I hope this will enable us to then understand them and improve them.